Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, how are you? Hey, let me just get... Okay, I had to make some adjustments to your microphone there because uh, we, if we don't make adjustments to it, then everybody's going to hear. Uh, we get the uh, oh the AC the AC to get too much of the AC in there. Well, I said, why don't we just do a single? It, it, so over here, it's just crowded up. that way. It's, we've done it before. And then your voices are your off mic and everything like that. So, anyway. Oh, he's on. Huh? He's there. What? 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 You stop it! Nobody knows what you're talking well, about. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, anyway, hello. How are you? What's up? Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Quit looking at that. <laughs> what was the Do name we, of that, that? Why don't you explain what happens that, that it, you know, that completely uh, gets your attention? I like to watch Damien close his section, and he does it in under 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. He, <laughs> and uh, he's fast. He, yeah, he, he's about six minutes. He got, he's got that thing posted. But what was the name of the program that I saw that he was talking about? Oh, uh, Castle Rock? Oh, uh, Damien, really? I saw two episodes and it just sucked. And the reviews I saw, are, I saw three and I oh, haven't gone I, yeah, and I haven't gone back for a fourth yet, although I'm going to. Well, the reviews were and I kind of agree with it. I mean, it's good people that are in it, but the dialogue and this it just drags. You didn't Sorry. like it. No. I gave it twice. Yeah. Yeah. I I I didn't find it that Grabbing. You know what I, th I, I, I found um, this week? Shecky turned me on to it. Uh, and it is, I, you know, you have all these, these, uh, these uh, what we call tentpole movies, like these Avenger films and all these Marvel you things. You mean in the, the, popular, and, and the, the popular now you, site that they have the, for the, the Academy the, Awards? The, the, the po yeah, the popu well, popular pictures. How popular do you determine pictures. what a popular picture is? They're going to do it by money. I think popular picture means it sucks. But anyway, so you, you got like the Avengers, which I saw the Avengers, the latest one, and I just went, you know, they're just too many. It's like a gangbang of superheroes, and then they're killing them all off. All right? So I, 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 I've kind of been down on these pictures. I like Thor Ragnarok. We like Guardians of the Galaxy, both of them. We liked, um, uh, what was the other thing we saw that we liked uh, a lot? Uh, 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 Deadpool. Deadpool. You know. That was good. But overall, uh, I found these pictures to be kind of, I hate to say this. Dull. Dull and noisy. Yeah, and a lot of explosions. You know, full of action. Uh, and no plot. They're not, they're not really movies in the traditional sense. Popular movies. Now that there's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. they're popular movies. They're popular movies. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so Shecky suggested this thing that I watch, and I figured, uh, well, I'll, I'll give it a, I'll give it a look, and uh, it was so good that I said, this is better than any of these big movies they're making. And what it was was uh, animation, and it was kind of limited animation in a way, done by uh, Warner's Animation, and it's called The Death of Superman. Mm -hmm. And it is terrific, because it not only has a, a great story and a lot of really great, interestingly done animated action, but it also has relationships going on, and it has has interwoven stories about the you know the people involved. You know, Lois Lane finds out for the first time that Clark Kent is Superman, you know, and um, uh, then he goes off and gets killed at the end. He dies at the end, uh, and there's a big funeral. I mean, it is it is a great when it, it, I don't think it's out yet. I think it will be out shortly, and it'll be available, I guess you know, on video. It's not going to the theaters. 
Watch this thing. What's it the, called? The Death of Superman. It is just terrific. I sat there for about an hour. It's only about an hour and 15 minutes. Just riveted watching this thing. Going, I can't believe how involving and how well done this is. And then you compare it to all those other films. Boy, all, the, all the other popular films? Yeah, the popular films. The popular films. And it, it, it just outstrips all of them. Uh, and I, I suggest that when you can uh, and you get you can what channel what where is it, it on? It, it's going to be sold, I think, on uh, Amazon, Amazon, and it's going to be probably available on uh, Netflix. Not Netflix. Netflix original. Not Netflix. <laughs> no, not Netflix. Epic. On no, on, and someplace where you're buying it. Oh. Okay, basically, uh, but it's 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 really good. It was really good. I was amazed. And and I watched this, you know, Avengers, uh, um, what the Infinity Wars, Avengers Infinity Wars, and it's you know it's okay, but to begin with, there were so many superheroes that I wasn't up to speed on. I there was one superhero I went, who the fuck is he? <laughs> he like had a dot in the middle of his head, and he I don't know could shoot rays out of his head or something, and I went. Where I I went to most I've seen most of these Marvel pictures. Where did Rayhead come from? <laughs> you know, or whatever his name is. Uh, and then there were a couple of other characters that were kind of you know like Hawkman and uh, just secondary. You know, but they brought them all together for this tenth anniversary Avengers thing. And it's then at the end of it, they've killed off most of the superheroes, and there's a part two coming out. Oh God. And by the way, part one is two and a half hours. It just goes on and on. And then what they do... Would you call it a popular movie? Yes, it was a popular movie. A popular movie. So it would be up for Academy Award. It would be up for an Academy Award. <laughs> oh, God. And then, and then uh, uh, the, the um, it, you know, it was, it, it, it was, uh, they put Guardians of the Galaxy in this picture. Ah, as as one of the and they kill off one of them. Ah. Well, it, you see, when I say they killed off almost everybody in this picture, I guess I'm not doing anything by uh, you know spoiling it for you by telling you that one of the guardians of the galaxy got killed. You know which one I liked? I liked the one about the superwoman that came from that island. Oh, well, that's Wonder Woman. Oh, it's great. That's Wonder Woman. That was great. That was the only DC picture that was any good. And I could see. Yeah, more and more of it. Yeah, but I mean, it was very well done. That, yeah. that, that was DC has done. DC has been a kind of a failure at movies, uh, except for the Christopher Nolan Batman films. Otherwise, it's been pretty, they've been pretty lousy. But that thing, Wonder Woman, was terrific. It was just terrific. So, and there will be more of them. You can bet your life on that. But what they're going to do is they're going to work her into all these other, like, uh. you know, the uh, League Justice League pictures and things like that. And, and you know, I just wish, for instance, Guardians of the Galaxy, I wish they had just left them alone. Yeah. And made them their own series. Luckily, Ant-Man, which was pretty good, the latest Ant-Man and Wasp. I never sold the original very, Ant-Man. Very good. Yes, you did, no, I, I think. I didn't. I think we I went. I didn't. Maybe I went without you. If it was in 3D... And I went with you. I probably fell asleep. You probably did. That's the nice thing about going to a movie with 3D because you can't tell if I'm awake or not. They can't tell if you're awake or not. Exactly. So. But anyway, I I really uh, liked, uh, 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 you know, Superman, the, the Superman thing, Death of Superman, uh, and uh, you know, I just. Uh, and who else? Oh, yeah. Uh, they had a lot of the other superheroes in this thing. Uh, they had, uh, I think they had Aquaman in it. Oh, God. You know, Aquaman, I never understood Aquaman. Uh, you know, when I grew up, I grew up on these comic books. I mean, they were, they were there back then. Superman was already a major. Dick Tracy? I think, well, no, forget that. Why? I'm talking, about, I'm talking about the superheroes. Oh, well, he was a super cop. Yeah. Uh, uh, Batman. Right. Superman, Superman, Wonder Woman, which I wasn't a big favorite of. I didn't like that much. And I always liked S&M in year, later years. I don't know why I didn't like Wonder <laughs> Woman. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, now I appreciate Wonder Woman. I think... It, 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 it was done so well, too. Yeah. I mean, it was just 
right on. That movie, but I'm saying Wonder Gir Woman as a as a comic book. Oh. And you know, but they, they, we I had soup. We had Supergirl. Had Superboy. Uh, we even had a super dog. I can't remember what his name was. Astro or something like that. Anyway, uh, but uh, I, I grew up on all those uh, all those superheroes, and uh, there were some of them that I just didn't get. Like I didn't get Aquaman. Aquaman never seemed all that interesting. <laughs> when all the guy can do is swim, I'm not going down there. I don't care what's happening down there, you know. But so, the, but they're they're folding Aquaman into the DC universe. You know, Aquaman has his own movie coming out. Jesus. Now I remember, remember that show? What was it uh, with a bunch of guys hanging out the in Hollywood? Uh, oh, what was it? You know, where. There were four of them, and it was uh, they were in Hollywood, and I'm trying to remember the name of the show now. See how far my men over is forty? No, or no, 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 no. This is young guys. He's a movie star, and they're his. Oh, uh, right, right. Entourage. entourage, entourage, and I said, and and they're his entourage, and then I came up there with the name. There you go. Uh, entourage pulled a major joke in that show, in that he gets the part. He wins the part of playing Aquaman. And that's a big joke because everybody's going, how are you going to make an Aquaman movie? Who wants to make an Aqu Aquaman is now one of these... Popular movies. Popular movies. Popular, I'm going to see what, 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 how many things are going to be put up for po popular movies. Well, you know and what determines it? Well, look, to begin with, these movies... It cheapens these it. Movies, it, cheapens it, it. Well, it cheapens the Academy Awards. But yeah. the, let's be honest. These films that are popular are considered popular because they sold a lot of tickets. And when they sold a lot of tickets, they made a ton of money. Right, doesn't make it a good movie. No, no, but I say it made yeah. a ton of money. So that makes Who it popular. Who gives a shit about an award? Give me the money. <laughs> you know, I'll be happy to turn. Well, they're trying to get another generation, younger people, to watch yeah, it. But it's... It's stupid, you know. They, I agree. The, yes, they have come up with new uh, new categories. Uh, they came up with animated feature, which a was few great. years ago, which was great. Well, they ha they had to because there were so many animated features being made, made, and they were of their own type, and the craft involved in it was was different than in doing a normal movie. That you know, because they always had best cartoon. Yeah. So best feature, okay. But what this is, what is, what is pop a popular movie? Uh, 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 it's got to be the sales. No, but it isn't like the most popular movie. It is, it is, what was what, the term they were using? Excellence in popular movie or something. It means or, how much at the box office, because there's no other way. Well, to what they're trying to apply to it is that it also has craft associated with it. What, and, and by the way, there were explosions. See, there were there were categories, believe it or not, for these uh, these popular pictures. Good example of a category would be best special effects, usually won by not uh, uh, some Meryl Streep movie. Yeah, but they're taking know. that out and doing it at commercial time. No, but what I'm saying is these things did win awards, but That's they were right. winning they were winning technical awards, which is fine. Which is fine. Can't give a best actor to uh, you know. I mean, are you going to tell me that the Avengers had a great script, you know, or that it was a it was a good movie? Uh, yeah, it was a good popular movie. It was a good. Well, it fits into the popular. Well, category. it was a good. It was a good amusement park ride. Right. Right. That's what these things really yeah. are. Uh, and I just don't know if cotton the, candy. You know, they say they say they want to shorten the Academy Awards, so yeah. they're gonna they're gonna do that by taking some of the awards that are given, like maybe best costumes or whatever, and they're gonna give them away during the commercial People breaks. People want to see that. Wait, I mean, minute, wait a minute, during the commercial breaks, and then at the end of the show, they're gonna do a montage of all the winners over the night of the other awards, and they want to bring this in at under three hours. I've got an idea how you can bring it in at under three hours. Stop the music. Do, no more dopey dance numbers and song numbers and stuff like that, you know? 
do a medley. Do the way the BAFTA used to do it. Because last well, year they the BAFTAs don't have best songs. No, but last year they started with the little da, 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 da. You know, all they did at the very beginning they had Cirque du Soleil do something and then that was it and then they were back to just one award after another. And none with of that one stuff. person introducing the next, the you, next, you, the next. You know, and no comedy bits. Uh, opening remarks by the host, and then here's this award, here's that award, here's this award, here's that award. Two hours later, nobody gets hurt. It's all over. Okay. Granted, it's BBC, and they don't have commercials. So, with commercials, it would be three hours and very efficient. But do away with those dopey dance numbers. You do you have to play every song and by the way when you talk about uh you know best song in a movie do you know when those songs are played in the movie usually at the end the very end okay very seldom are they in the movie i mean in frozen they were in the movie but in all these other films it's like the, the closing credits music <laughs> You know, it's ten twenty. I know. I'm just saying. No, they would can stop, I come over? Stop with that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I tried. I'm too tired to do a show tonight. I don't feel so well. So why don't you say good night? Well at all. Come to bed early. I don't feel well. Anyway, so all I'm saying is that I, I think that uh, they have, you know, and when people say, well, you know, these, these pictures never get nominated. Well, you know why they don't? They Be suck. Well, because they don't have... They have plots. They have no, no plots. They have craft, and those crafts are honored in yeah, the special exact, effects and exactly. so on. Stage design. Uh, but, you know, I mean, script or acting, you know, even the actors in them. You've got guys like Mark Ruffalo who plays the Hulk, right? Who will probably be the first one to tell you that his acting jobs in those pictures are just, he walks right through them, you know. They just do their little thing and they go. You know, it's not like they have, uh, have a, it's not like uh, some movie where he's really got to act, you exactly. know, pull out his chops. So there's that, there's that problem. Uh, all, but what all, constitutes a popular movie? And I think it's, it's tickets, sales. Well, suppose. A That's the only thing. Wait a minute, I got a question for you. Suppose there's some small film, right? Like Get Out was nominated for Best Picture this year. Was Get Out a popular picture? Probably not. I think it was. It was? Yeah. I think it would. I mean, who's going to determine what comes under that category? Yeah. Under normal conditions, people could say Get Out was a horror film. Okay? But it went beyond that. There was a subtext that was just better done than that. And and uh, I agree because when I yeah. saw it the second time, I really so appreciated what, what it. So, what category would that would that fall into? Popular, popular. film? <laughs> you know, it, it certainly. You know what it does? It also um, reduces the the specialness of what the other categories are all about. Well, it just kind of drains. That you're, it. There, you're being old fashioned. You know, I I think if there was a new category of film, I like what the Brits do. They do um, ensembles. Well, they do ensembles in in the uh, in the uh, SAG AFTRA awards. With SAG AFTRA every oh, year, oh, we yeah, vote for right, best right, ensemble. Right, right. In other words, all the actors together yeah. in a film. Okay, uh, but and, and you don't really need that. But what I, all I'm saying is, is that it, it's kind of sad. You know, it's really sad. Um, they're watering it down. They're watering it down, and it's not being old-fashioned about it. I think that. Popular films, by the way, have been nominated. Sure. Titanic was a popular film. Avatar. Avatar. I think both of them got nominated for yeah. Academy Awards for Best Picture. They didn't win, but they got nominated for Best sure. Picture. Uh, uh, back when there were only five nominations, when it was harder to get a nomination, um, there was... Uh, um, uh, Star Wars was nominated for Best Picture. Was it? Yes. Uh, you know, it didn't win, but it was nominated. You know, and I, I think there, I think maybe Indiana, maybe Raiders of the Lost Ark was also nominated as well. You know, so these, Popular. The, I mean, it these just, things do get nominated. Just cheapens it. Well, it just, what it, it is, does. it's too nebulous a category. I mean, how do you determine? Suppose somebody ticket so, sales. Suppose, it's got to be ticket suppose sales. Meryl Streep does a film that all of a sudden is this huge hit 
I mean, it makes a billion dollars for one reason or another, although I find that impossible to Is believe. Is that a popular film? It, it, that would be a popular film, I guess. Right? I don't understand it. You know, so who's going to define what's a popular film and what isn't a popular film? I think film? it's time for me It's to not roll. time yet. Stop it. Listen, if you want to leave, you can leave. I didn't say that. If you don't want to hang out with these people, no, I'd they, love to hang out with they these don't people, care about But I'd rather they that they call now they rather than five minutes from now. They don't care about talking to you. I know. You know? You're, you're just a pain in the ass to them, just like you are to me. Well, that's nice talk. Now, because uh, you haven't been very nice to me lately. Oh, look who's talking. You haven't been nice look to me. Look who's talking. You haven't been nice to me lately. Hey, hey let's not even get into that. No, I, no, I don't. It's 10.25. Nice no, no, no. You come home. <laughs> Wait a minute. You come home from work, and I appreciate that you work. Would you please not, not do that? Don't do that. See what I have to put up with? See what I have to put up with? Uh, uh, anyway, uh, where was I? What was, where popular were, movies. No, it wasn't popular movies. Oh, about, about you, you always give me grief. Like the other night with the air conditioner. I didn't Oh, let's talk about the other night with the air conditioner. Like two nights in a row, well, no, I wake no, no, up no. in a ball of sweat. Well, because it was broken. Why do you think I had it replaced? And then he puts the broken air conditioner in another window. I'd rather have the window. Well, then, I'm sorry, you weren't here when it well, had I'm to gonna, be done. I'll pay him to take it out. It's broken. What do you? I mean, what are you gonna do? Fix it? It's not that broken. So put it in the guest room. It's fine where it is. No, it's not. It looks terrible. Well, then it, go, it, I'll take care no, of it. What you do is you get some plastic, I'll clear plastic, and put it in there. I want that air conditioner. No, there. I do. No. Well, well, why doesn't what I want count? You've got all these back rooms, Alex. No, I yeah, look. That, look what I got. Look what I got for an air conditioner. That thing. So let's put that one from the living room in there. No, because it's too strong. It would it would blow the fuse. Well, whatever he says, you could use. Let's get no, it. No, no. No, no, I mean, no, no, no. But I mean, the thing is, no, you're not. Okay. Cha you're, you're not. <laughs> what happened was, is we had on that old air conditioner these accordion pleats, and after five years, they would gotten pretty scuzzy, aren't they? I think it's time. For That's confusing, roller. people. Just go back there until it's time. It's time. Oh boy. You're losing us audience by doing this. Whose fault is that? Huh? Yours. <laughs> anyway. No, I mean, we can get some plastic to put in there like we have I don't have want the plastic. Others. I'd rather have the window. We don't, don't use it. I don't need another window to open. Well, I'll open it no, and I'll close no, it. No, no, I, no. I don't want... That air conditioner is still good. It's still usable. Oh, really? Yes. So put it in here. No, it's too strong for in so here. Put it blow in the a guest fuse. Room. It'd blow a fuse in there. The most we can put in here is 8,000. Okay, let's open up the books, the, the whatever. You know, you're exhausting line. me with this whole air conditioner bullshit. What are you talking about? I mean, my God. Hmm? So we got another two minutes. I'm going to make you sit there for the next two minutes. So there. So there. Yeah. Uh. Oh, and we have people coming for a week. Yeah, we well, don't tell them who. Okay. Yeah, but just a whole week. A whole week. Yeah, well, you know, if I roll over, you could turn down the air conditioner. You what? can turn down, turn off this, and we won't hear it. They, they won't hear it. Right. I see. Okay. I didn't say you could roll over I'm yet. I'm rolling. No, you can't roll over I'm yet. Here. Uh, I'm here. I'm uh, here. Uh, why don't you stay? Wait a minute. Let me put you right there. There, like that. There you go. There she is, folks. You like that? But not everybody's watching the video, so, you know. Well, let me open up the... Uh, Thank you. I'll open up the lines early. Nobody's going to call. Good idea, Alex. Huh? What do you mean, good idea? So did I tell you that, that uh, Skype is uh, going to be... Uh, Skype not, got Skype to help. Not going to not gonna change to the new yeah, Skype? Yeah, they've gotten a lot of complaints. Huh? A lot of complaints. How do you know? Because they wouldn't have kept the old system if they, you know. If they had what? They didn't get the complaints. They didn't get the complaints. Well, they, apparently nobody liked the new Skype. And so they've said, well, uh, we'll, uh, we're holding off on forcing people to go to the new Skype. Right. Which would have ruined for the now. show. For now. Would have ruined the show. I agree. I was considering closing it down if I didn't oh. like it. 
Oh, here comes John Perulis. He's 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 way early. Uh, Good for somebody. Else. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Well, <laughs> let me take a crack at who your guest is. A mystery no, guest. No, don't. No, no, don't, no, 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 don't, no, 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 no. Don't. Oh, God, no, no, I had a don't. good one. I had it all lined up. Uh, <laughs> it's like my punchline. Uh, it, it's your punchline. What do you mean your punchline? Well, yeah. Huh? What? It's someone, someone that appeared on the punchline, and it's not Durst. No, it's not a comedian. Oh, one of your, one not of your... a comedian. No. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I had. I had a comedian. Well, who'd you think? Bobcat Goldthwait. Oh yeah, like I have <laughs> him staying here. <laughs> right. <laughs> You'd have to have a uh, voodoo priest come and uh, smoke your house and do a cleansing afterwards. <laughs> well, you know, uh, uh, that would never that would never happen. Is this a Phil free night? No. 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 So Phil, feel free. No, Phil. Phil will Phil. be here. We go, he we is. go together these days. You know, <laughs> I've gotten to be friends with Phil. Hey, that's one of the great things about uh, being on the show. I've met two incredible people you know ray renati and there he is i told you he'd be around and phil where's ray hey how you ray's doing? walking his dog yeah he's either either that or you know practicing he's for a role or something i'm she, saying good night everyone it was a long week yeah she's leaving. Yeah. she's leaving See hey that? guys i gotta show you something look at this oh wow you got him back no new ones so now i got the how two that uh, you have uh let's see the one i'm wearing that's four five six six pairs of earphones yeah that's a lot now, of ears now look at this <laughs> this is a uh, sony the ones that got stolen from me and recovered you know they're almost a hundred bucks and i got these for 30 bucks paulson they sound just as good as the sony's and so i'm wondering phil that i waste my money on sony I mean, these things, you know, look we, at the, they're you, probably what Sony buys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'll tell you what happened with Sony years ago um, uh, when they first came out with the Sony's. Mm, goodbye, dear. She's Bye. Leaving. Bye. Um, uh, when Sony came out with the earphones, uh, we, they bought, a, I bought a pair to use on the radio. Right. And they sounded great. I mean, they were fine. They were terrific however within a month they were broken because really? the you know, the cord frayed oh, and fell off yeah. and the thing was these earphones were fine for some kid who was sitting in his room you know doing whatever yeah. he's doing but for doing it in a radio studio where they get banged around and so on these these they didn't last at all so we went out and got other earphones we didn't use i didn't use sony's for years and then all of a sudden i guess they started showing up in studios, and I'm one of these kind of people. I, a lot of guys, you know, in the radio business, they'll, they'll get their own earphones and they'll take them to work with them. And here are my earphones, and they will take them out of their suitcase, their baggage, or whatever they take with them, and here uh, plug in their earphones, you know, and so on. I never gave a shit. I'll take whatever is sitting there on the on the console. Do they do that with microphones? They use their own mics? No. I, well, yeah. I, I, some guys do, you know. Some people do. Well, what's uh, the most expensive mic you've ever used? I don't know that there is an expensive mic that I've used. Yeah, I there's mean, some that are like four thousand bucks. Yeah, so no, I, I've, I've never. I've, 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 I've never. Oh, there he is. We yeah. said we predicted. Hello. Hey. We said Ray Renati's going to be walking his dog. That's how he's going to come into the show. We never, um, uh, when it came to, um, uh, what were you asking now, microphones? Mic yeah, uh, most I, expensive I, mic I, I, you've I think, ever I, The average mic that's in most studios are electro voices. Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, the most expensive mic, I don't think uh, they're, well, maybe we lost him. Uh, we, it, we, there was a most expensive mic. You know, because they weren't going to waste a, they weren't going to spend, uh, you know, four thousand dollars on a Telefunken or something like that that you'd have in a recording studio, uh, because yeah. you didn't need that for a voice for you know yeah. a radio station. Yeah. So uh, usually, what I most stations had, uh, boy, he can't hold a signal, can he? Um, He's uh, on his phone. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, uh, the the best. Usually, electro voices were what were in most studios that I ever worked. 
Well, that was the, the broadcast standard. I remember I was trained by a KPIX well, uh, no, they weren't, cameraman. They weren't, the, go. they weren't the broadcast. Everybody used Electro Voice. They weren't the broadcast standard. For, for uh, video news, for no, uh, no, television. No, no, no. You, you were way too far in advance in radio. The microphone that I grew up on was the 44DX, RCA 44DX. Is that, that the one that looked like a fist? No, yeah. no. The one that looked like a fist was the uh, DX77. I Is believe. that the one on Johnny Carson's desk? No, the one, uh, yes. Yes. That was, yeah, I think, well, that's still used. Uh, well, no, they're not really used. When you see them, they put another mi microphone inside oh, that it's one. it's for show. For show. It's just a prop. Yeah, yeah. But I'll tell you, those those RCAs were great mics. They were ribbon microphones, and they were they were terrific. Uh, and, but I bought. I have it. Still have it here. I have it. It's in the other room. Uh, an electro. Vo uh, what do you call it? An electro voice. Um, what's uh, what was the what was the number on it? Uh, Thirty. Thirty-five. I think thirty-five A. Little one, right? Yeah. Uh, and if you look back at like Frank Sinatra singing, he had that mic, and everybody used that mic. And I bought it for thirty-five bucks in the fifties. Wow! And it's still it expensive. It's still fucking. <laughs> it still fucking works. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they're about they're about one hundred and thirty-five dollars now. They still make them. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Uh, uh, well, I'm glad the, that schmuck didn't steal my SM58s. I mean, those are so dependable, and they have an excellent re sound rejection. Even something our audience really doesn't give a shit. They really well, don't. that's the mic that a lot of rock singers. Uh, you know, we, we, see, I mean, we, we don't start, give a we, shit what they give a shit about. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, well, I know. That's why nobody's listening right now. Uh, Wait a minute. I saw 21 people. Uh, hey, 21 people. Uh, yeah. yeah. Twenty six. All right. Thanks for listening. That, yeah. th by the way, that, that is not accurate. <laughs> that does not give me the true number that I'm going to get by the end of the night. Oh, because there's another platform uh, no, that you were saying no, that the show goes out on. No, 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 no. It's just that it it, it <laughs> it's only cumulative at the end of the night. Yeah, it's cumulative at the end of the night. You know. But at the current moment, you have twenty six. Yeah. 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 But that could be. One person going on, another person quickly coming back on, you know, and that's why it stays at 26. We don't know. Most people only uh -huh. listen to this show for about a minute until they hear somebody talk about microphones. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, Ray, you got a uh, travel log there, huh? A travel log? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're showing us downtown Palo Alto? Oh, or? yeah. It's very, well, up, down, yeah. South yeah. Palo Alto, Midtown Palo Alto. Well, one time when I come out to California sometime, I'll have to take that walk with you. Yeah. I, I don't think you'd like to do that because in Palo Alto, they charge you a toll for walking on the sidewalks. Everything's very <laughs> expensive there. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, ridiculous. Ray's got so yeah. much money, it doesn't matter. You know. Yeah, I'm just loaded. Yeah, he's he's a former uh, tech magnet. That's funny when uh, you ask me about the most expensive. I, actually, I do I do have a lot of good investments, but I don't have we don't have any income. I mean, we our income sucks. <laughs> when you ask me about right. the most expensive microphone I ever used, I I really don't think I ever really used what you would call. I mean, most of the microphones in radio studios are about four hundred dollar mics. Yeah, yeah. four or five hundred. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. about it. Yeah, and and those are the really good ones. I mean. Uh, although I went and got this AKG because I had had one in California when I was doing, uh, 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 what do you, play TV? Live TV. Play the, TV. The, play TV. Play TV, yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's the mic that she was using tonight. And so I liked the sound of it so much and the way it made my voice sound that I just bought another one. And that's really how you buy mics. You don't buy them by how expensive they are. I'm sure there's a microphone out there that costs 50 bucks. It makes me sound fine. You know, you know well, I'm going to do a test right now and take out these hundred buck Sony headphones and go to my 30 buck headphones and see. All right, here I go. But you know, Alex, a lot of it. You're able to uh, uh, get good volume out of that mic and you're fa a fairly uh, good distance away from it. Whereas ah, with this, with wow. this one, I have to be almost right at it 
uh, in order for it to pick up the right pattern. Well, well this is, uh, I have it on directional mode here. Oh, big difference there yeah. between the 100 buck uh, headphones and these 30 buck ones. That 30 buck ones, the voice is sharp and clear and tinny. All the rich tones are out, but that's good for the announcer, the ring announcers. It actually yeah. sounds better. Oh no, he it, it's just earphones. Well, it, you know, we're I, just I, I, I just had a, uh, two, three of these swiped from me on my last MMA shoot. I know you did. Oh, no. two, two of them recovered. Yeah, anyway, and, the, and that's, really that's because I was there. The point is <laughs> that today most people don't really have high expectations of the sound they're going to hear. They don't know what good sound is. Because yeah, what's right. what's coming yeah. out of a, out of an iPhone or what's coming out of uh, a, an MP3 is really devoid of dynamics and things like that, and people have just yep. lowered their expectations. So they'll put on a pair of these. Uh, I don't know what the, what are the Dr. Dre ones? Uh, the uh, <laughs> Beat, Beats. Beats, yeah. and they'll pay I like 175 so. bucks for the Beats, and because yeah. they've lowered you know up the bass or something on them, they think, oh, these are sounding great. They don't know what's sounding great sounds like you know. i had a pair yeah. of the red ones which supposedly some amount of that purchase went to save the rainforest and uh they fell apart within six months yeah. Yeah. real wow. real junk yeah well okay, I mean, now red that's the standard for uh the television it's not industry. not the video here's, not the video here's, camera here's the one i don't get okay is apple has these what i call them hash pipes yeah. <laughs> that you put in your ears, okay? Right. Bluetooth. <laughs> Bluetooth. Now, number one, I've never liked the Apple ear pieces because, and this they is the reason fit. why, they don't fit. I right. have to actually wet them. With, I, I have yeah. to wet them with spit to make them stick. Okay. Uh, why don't you use that stuff I sent you? Well, no, that that's for cleaning the ears. But anyway. No, well, no, it's not for cleaning your ears. It's for making the earplugs comfortable in your ears. Well, no, but it isn't a matter of, it's a matter of keeping them in, okay? But anyway, they yeah. have these little, these, these, they're 150 bucks, uh, these, uh, these uh, ear pods, I think they call them, or air yeah. pods. Like, yeah, whatever I'd they lose them. I, no, I, I came home one day. And on the on the sidewalk is one of these AirPods, yeah. one of the AirPods, yeah. and I'm thinking somebody walked by and their AirPod fell out, you know. Well, you and, and, to I, smoke and I it. was going to take it upstairs. <laughs> and I was going to take it, you know, since it was yeah. on the ground. And I figured I went back and I left it there because the guy might come back and go, "Where did it? Wh oh, there it is." Okay. Yeah. So or or woman. I, I, mean, I have a question. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. But wait a minute. Why would you? Why would you? Use one of those earphones. They're, they're so, and they and they got the. They look like hash pipes coming out of your ears. I know why you only use one, because the guy dropped the other one on the sidewalk. Uh, I see. I see. <laughs> oh, this uh. guy outposed us. Look at this. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the, the, well, the quiet are... ones. Well, there is an argument that Bose sucks. Uh, and uh, I had the Bose too, and it fell apart in two years. As soon as the warranty was up, I, the, I uh, have a Bose. I used to have the Bose ear ear. The, 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 I had the, those too. That's, yeah. that's what I have right now. I really like them. The, I liked what? I liked them, but I'll tell you, I got these. Uh, uh, what do you call it? This is uh, 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 Edemotix. Yeah, and I uh, like the Bose and, better than the Edemotix. Uh, no, the Edemotix sound better than the Bose. I, I have Edemotix. It, it, I they, know. They, they don't sound as good as the Bose. Oh, oh you're wrong. You're so the wrong. only problem with the bows is that the glue uh, seems to separate uh, on the <laughs> uh, on 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 the uh, little e little earpiece, it, it, and yeah, so okay. if it separates within a year, they send you another well, pair. So then, okay, that's what happened with mine. It broke, yeah. so they'll yeah. send you another one. That's a good thing about bows and Garmin. They just send you another it's one. Got, you cut it in half and you send me another one. It's really? like a five-year warranty. Yeah. Oh wow! I threw. Hey, my... you better, better watch out there, Ray. You're getting all this EMF bombardment so, up top of your head. You're, you're walking under about ten thousand volts. So then, about oh uh, yeah, so, and then I went <laughs> out and I got these. Okay, Feels good. Uh, yeah. which is the it, it are just I can't remember what the name of them are, and they in fact I like them because they they stick together with a magnet. So when you got really? them on, around your neck, you you know boom, you know. There you and, go. Yeah, but uh, these I uh, bought them because I they were just Bluetooth, and I had a friend, my friend uh, Jack's girlfriend Natasha had them, and I figured, hey, what the hell? I'll, I'll give them a try. They're only like thirty bucks. 
they sound better than any earphones I've ever bought. I mean, really? they're really good. Well, I'm hoping, you see, I have uh, custom earplugs that are hollowed out yeah, so that you can, they fit the bows. I'm going to have them adapted to fit the etymotics. You know what you do with the etymotics? Do what I do. Get these. Hold on a I second. I have the foam. You know, well, whatever the, that the, thing the, is. The, it's, the, it's like the, a the, hard let, foam. Let me show people. These are the uh, foam, okay? Yeah. Th that's what they are. And what you do is you squeeze them a little bit together. And, uh, and they get old after a while, so you have to use an, a new one. But then you put them in, and they... they you know, conform they, uh, to your expand. ear. Now, you, they also have plugs for the etymotics that you stick into your ear canal. And uh, supposedly they're the best, but I never uh, quite get the to vinyl work. rubber ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I was just change here. them. Uh, Bree. Uh, yeah, that's Bree, isn't it? Yeah, a different uh, background. That's Bree. I, I wanted to ask Bree a question. Bree, oh, Bree, could you uh, move yesterday your, or wait a minute, today? Hold on a second. Bree, could you move your camera down just a little bit so we can see a little more of your face? There we go. Yeah, All great right. shot. Great shot of your nostrils there, Ray. <laughs> oh yeah, you like that? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Bree, there was a woman either yesterday or today that was flying on Air Emirates. She uh, was coming from the UK and she had a glass of wine on board. Uh, she was traveling with her child, I think about a five-year-old girl. They arrested her at uh, when she landed in uh, the Emirate or in uh, uh, Dubai. And uh, they seized her passport. Uh, she's, uh, she was a dentist. And uh, maybe this happened a, a week ago because she's run up a significant uh, uh, legal fees. And uh, they're not, she says that it may take a year to get out of there and they're holding her in, in prison is that uh, common in uh, in the no. in dubai no. had you seen that article no what is it again uh oh don't have a, tell the story over again oh no i won't tell the story it was <laughs> a, a woman had a glass of wine on an air emirates flight and she's being held in in jail uh, in uh, dubai she and her daughter five years old uh because I guess they said that even if, you, uh, if you're stopped and you're given a breathalyzer in Dubai and you have any alcohol in your system, they'll arrest you. Is that true? And, and yet they serve it on the airplane? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Well, apparently they did. She, yeah, they must. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bree, uh, is yeah. it against the law to drink in Dubai? Um, uh, gosh. You know, there, there's so many things that... It would take us an hour to go through. Um, I think it's against the law to get caught drinking in Dubai. <laughs> Wait a minute, First, let me get an answer, you, Phil. <clears throat> yeah, you, you need to have a license. Really? What, to drink? A license? <laughs> Wait a minute, to drink? Yes. A wow. license to drink. <clears throat> Why a license to drink? That doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm, I'm reading the uh, story. British mom of... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you, so you're reading it. Okay. And it, uh, I read it. It was in a UK paper, I, I, you know, uh, online. Yeah. Uh, it was interesting. You, you would think of Dubai as being a little more liberal that way because they want to attract an international clientele who doesn't want to be in fear of getting arrested because they've got an alcohol level. Yeah. You know? And. So, yeah, anyway, this gal's a, a dentist, and uh, it's, she can't leave Dubai, so it's impacted her practice, and uh, she's had to uh, cancel all her things. She's losing money. Oh, I, I, guess I, I she's, see what happened, Phil. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you read the story, she basically got huffy. Oh. Uh, uh, ah. Yeah. Okay, freedom of speech. Yeah, it says that... Um, no, it isn't a free, freedom of speech issue, Phil. And oh, she oh her was visa to go yeah. back to London. Yeah. So she got in a tense standoff with the immigration officer. That's a bad Oops. idea. Yeah. You you don't want to get into any arguments or tense standoffs with anybody anywhere who has power and authority over uh. you know what I see. So, yeah, well, I guess the newspaper uh, article that I read only gave part of the story. <laughs> Oh, that's great! No, Ray. you, you oh, Gray. <laughs> it's a dead rat. 
Welcome to the South Bay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, welcome to the Alex Bennett Show. We feature dead rats. D dead rats. <laughs> You know, there's a little bit of dead rat that comes in from everything that's made in China. Oh, hey, they, I, they, I, 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 I went to show myself, okay, yeah. showing the earphones, and I forgot to show you guys again. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, I'm sorry Skype, about I that, see folks. You guys, very easy, you know, the, the yeah. whole thing, but I'm not watching anything else. Yeah, but I, I, have a, I had a problem uh, uh, doing it. So, I mean, I, I, I did it wrong. I'm sorry, folks. You know, I, I sit here trying to do the show and also do the video and also do the audio. And it's it's uh, it's like, you know, rubbing your stomach and patting your head at the same time, you know. And sometimes I don't, I, I'm just so f phased out that I didn't notice that my, oh, hey, I look good. My picture looks great there. Oh, wait a minute. It's not supposed <laughs> to be on there. Anyway, that's okay. They, I think your audience would rather see you than us anyway. Probably. Well, uh -huh. you remember when we first started doing the video on this, I, I didn't have a way to show you guys initially, and I just showed me talking to you. Yeah. Remember, that was the way we originally the did it on Facebook. Numbers were up. <laughs> they were much better than they are now, you know. Yeah. I'm just going to say this is all because it's summer and it's hot and it's all kinds of things and things will improve after the summer. But if they don't, uh, I'm going to go down to one day a week and say, fuck all y'all. You know? Yeah. Uh, it'd probably improve listenership if they didn't get as much. It know? could be. It could be. But, um, boy. Now you, you froze out, Phil. Your, oh, I did? Your no, image is. No, uh, no he's yeah, not. So she, um, Hold on. Hold on, say, uh, 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 Ray, you better Ray, mute. mute the mute your sound, Ray. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I don't okay. ca care if you can't see him, John, because we can, and that's all that matters. <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> he he has a perfect picture tonight. Where, where's the dead rat? I want to take a look at that again. Well, the dead rat is gone. I, I think they've passed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anything else dead on the road there, Ray? So the, uh, shit. Yeah, look, there's there's a dead possum right there. What's that? No, that's not a dead anything. That's a piece of oh, it's paper. It's just a piece of paper. Yeah. Sorry, I'm having trouble with my touch screen. No, it's not a possum. I'll look for some dead shit. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and make sure that I. Did you see that shit. sidewalk? How uh, how how it's it's dropped down? What do you have a you know earthquake fault going through that? sidewalk yeah well there's a creek right here see oh and they and they build concrete around it but the concrete sinks because yeah. it's a freaking creek it goes out to the bay so there's all kinds of water underneath i see Hence i don't the know dead rat. Mm -hmm. this this all this grass in here used to not be here i don't know why it's here i guess they used to, used to yeah. pull it but now they leave it yeah people used to fish in here there were giant carp well, Huge. Jeff Jeff should be on his way to to uh, where in Italy Rome 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, even as we speak yeah you know. what's it, about I'm ten hours uh, ten hours from uh, uh, New York to Rome uh, let's see it's about eight hours to Paris it might be might be might be ten maybe yeah. maybe yeah. yeah well that's a long enough flight oh try China. <laughs> What's that? Twenty? Yeah. Oh no, not twenty. No. Well, I uh, did that uh, to about twenty, nineteen, twenty hours. I went to Shanghai. Stopped in oh, Japan. Oh, Shanghai, but uh, but but uh, uh, I think to get to Beijing took us sixteen hours, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, with layovers, I had a flight that I used air miles on. Delta's partner was Korean Air. Yeah. And uh, the total flight. Uh, was 36 hours, including layover, to get me to Sydney and then up to uh, Cairns. Uh, it was it was a long. Why didn't long... you take a direct flight? Uh, because I used air miles. And, well, I've and, used air, uh, I used air miles it. to get to uh, to uh, Beijing, and uh, uh, hell, I was on just a, a one just a nonstop. Well, I wish I would have been on a nonstop, but because their partner was Korean Air, I had to stop in Incheon. And, but uh, there wasn't like a United plane going? Uh, no, it was, uh, it was a Korean Air going and coming back. 
but Delta didn't fly uh, to. Oh, well, uh, to, Delta's basically, yeah, yeah. The Delta so my miles were on Delta, and uh, United flew direct. Yeah. But I would have had to pay money to do that. Well, I have a, uh-huh. United, I have a United card. I've got to, I've got to start using my miles because I just know they're going to like do away with some of them, you know. Uh, as long as you keep using the card, I think they stay fresh. Yeah, I've I've got uh, two hundred fifty thousand miles on my card, something like oh. that right now. Yeah, that that'll get you a flight to Cincinnati. I yeah, think. I think <laughs> to Cincinnati. It, it's not that they do away with, with the, the miles; rules. they just up the amount of miles it takes to get somewhere. Yeah. No, I think girlfriend and I could probably go to Europe and back on my miles easily. Yeah, yeah. you know, I think first class to Europe is a hundred thousand each. Or, or yeah, first class or business class. It's I think it's a hundred thousand. I think it's fifty thousand to go, uh, and uh, and coach. And if you go business class or first class, I think it's a hundred thousand. Is each. that round trip fifty thousand in coach? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, hey, I'm not sure anymore. Hey, I might. Uh, I got Europe. two invitations to go to Ukraine in October. I just got to watch out for the friggin' Nazis because I've been saying so many bad things about them online. So I don't know if I'm going to go. Yeah. I think the Nazis yeah. have to worry about the Ukrainians. Now you're back in you're back in Dubai, right, uh, Bree? No, I'm no. in Pittsburgh. Now. You're well, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to God, say. God, I, I, I thought, oh my God, you know, Bree's calling once again. We get some exotic footage. <laughs> So you're in Pittsburgh. Yeah. How long are you in Pittsburgh for? Uh, about a week and a half. And then are you going back to yeah, uh, Dubai? Back through Paris and then Dubai. I'll tell you something. Uh, I've got, I've got, uh, you know, I've got uh, uh, Apple TV here. And mm-hmm. they have screensavers. And they go around the world shooting the screensavers. Using, I think, right. what has the to Dubai be... The Dubai Desert. Uh, it, it, well, the Dubai Desert. But more than that... Yeah, I'm going to turn the thing on. More than that, um, um, it, they also have Dubai and the uh, Khalif, uh, Bur, 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 uh, Bur, uh, Burj Khalifa. Yeah. Uh, you know, did I pronounce it correctly? And uh, uh-huh. the Burj Khalifa. And, and it's a shot <laughs> of the whole area at night. And it is just incredible. Incredible, just incredible. Yeah, I've got that as, as my screensaver on this laptop. Yeah, I can't oh, show gross. it to you. But uh, uh, let me see. Here. So, uh, didn't you just get a new laptop? Yeah, yeah. I, I did, and now I'm using I'm using my old Acer uh, instead of my new uh, ZenBook. Hold on a second. Let me try and turn this. So, uh, any news on the job front? Yeah, I um, well, it looks like China is not going to wait for me. That it's the timetable is off, but yeah. Malaysia is going to wait. So uh, I got their first offer today. It's uh-huh. a little bit low, so I've got to. Uh, I have to do some research into, you know, because they give a housing allowance. I need to see how much, how re- realistic that is, and yeah. uh, then I got to figure out how much the taxes are there because I don't pay taxes in Dubai. Can you see the uh-huh. Can you see the TV set in back of me? Little yeah. Bit. Uh, yeah. That is going over the. Hold on a second. Flying over the Dubai Marina. Yeah, that's I. I walk there every day. Yeah. Uh, to get my groceries every other day. There's a Spinney's there that I go to. That's, what What do you do, Bree? Uh, I'm a teacher. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So, but yeah, so uh, I, I do have a question for the group because when I got back on August 8th, I ordered this um, e- this Onyx Books Max 2. It's an e-reader that's really big, and um, they they're not going to ship it. I free, it was free shipping, but it was like seven or eight days. I forget. But I ordered like three or four things from Amazon. Now they've made me a Prime member for uh, a month for free. So I'm wondering if I should cancel the original order, which still hasn't shipped, and then reorder it and get it in two days. Uh, not everything that Amazon sells that's prime ships in two days because sometimes it's from a third-party uh, uh, supplier. Uh, yeah, I see. 
and so you just got to check and see, you know, what the actual ship dates are going to be. I think that it would come in two days, but the thing I'm wondering is how they would charge my card. Like, would it sit on there for a month, or would they refund it immediately? Because it's pretty expensive. Uh, yeah, sometimes if they don't, if I, I've had stuff that when, I when, either... I, 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 let me just tell them. When they yeah. ship a thing at, at Amazon, they automatically charge you. They do not charge you until it ships. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. So I it, ordered something incorrectly on Amazon tonight, and it, you know, within 30 seconds, I canceled it. Yeah. Uh, I haven't checked the card yet to see, but I, I ordered the right no, thing you, it will not. Later. You will not get charged for it, Phil, until it yeah. ships. Okay, yeah. so if you canceled it, it's not going to ship. Boy, this That's is right. an exciting conversation. Oh. Boy, well, well, know, thank God, thank thing, like God Patrick is, is calling. You know how long we had to listen to you and not. your TV? What? Uh, huh? how, how long we had to listen to your stories about your broken television? You know, you can at least what appreciate what broken, someone what, else's deal what, with you Amazon. You weren't even listening to the I, show because we weren't talking at about a broken television. I'm giving you a hard time. But here's, you know what's, here's the thing. You know, um, uh, sorry. Uh, oh. yeah. Some companies are really good about customer service and others are not. Like, I'll give you an example. Airbnb, I've had really good experiences with them. Like, they immediately respond there's another company I use called No Roaming. I'll show it to you here on my on my phone. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. what this does is it's a sticker that goes over your SIM, and when you're abroad, you can get data for a cheap rate. Like so, I like was in Paris for one day. I can't get a local SIM. I don't want to pay you know outrageous roaming. So I have this SIM No Roaming. They get back to me within five minutes of me emailing really? them. And Airbnb, it's usually within you know ten or fifteen minutes. But Amazon, that like I can't get anybody. And and Alex, you always complain about Microsoft Skype, like you can't reach anybody. And that's how I feel with Amazon. Oh, you, know? you can, I I've talked to Amazon any number of occasions. You just have to you have to drill down a little bit into the site to get to the number. But you just go down to contact, and one of the ways in which you can contact them is by phone. And what you do is you call them. Uh, or you give them your number, and then they call you back. And it's usually within a minute or two. You huh. know, okay. am I right, EA Patrick? Is Patrick, pa Patrick is agreeing. You agree, Patrick? You? Yeah, I've I've had that. Uh, I've made a mistake or um, something with that's what it was. Something with, was available, but when I kept trying to put it in my cart, it wouldn't do it. And I called them. I had to leave my number, and they called me back, and we cleared it up yeah. very quickly. And so, it was a human being; it wasn't some robot on the other end. Right, so, right. No, and 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 you really don't have to wait forever. You'd think with Amazon you'd be on the line for a half hour before you got to talk to somebody, and that couldn't be further from the, from the truth. The worst customer service, and whenever I have a problem and I know I have to call them, I dread it is yeah. GoDaddy. Uh, <laughs> with GoDaddy, I one time waited 45 minutes to talk to somebody who could do what they had to do. And in the meantime, they've got this terrible music they play that's, I guess, supposed to drive you away. You, you can selectively eliminate that if you want. Yeah, you can selectively eliminate it, but then you don't hear anybody, so you don't know if you've been disconnected or not. <laughs> you know, so Apple yeah. has uh, that same kind of option where uh, you can pick the kind of music you want. Well, you can pick the kind of music you want. That's nice. This, you've just got this one thing. In fact, if you go online to, like, YouTube and say, uh, GoDaddy Online Music, there's actually somebody who's got it there, and you can listen to it. And this, it plays over and over. And so when you're there for 45 minutes online waiting for somebody, and this thing is going on and on and on, it's, it's maddening. And then when you finally get the person, they go, oh, well, we have to send you over to such and such. And then it's another 10, 20 minutes of this music playing. 
and Can you it's imagine just, it's if it was this ghastly. song, It's a Small World, after all? Yeah, well, <laughs> I know, they should I, have cabinet on there. I, I know course. somebody who got trapped. You can trapped. hear people talking about their prostates and shit. I know yeah. somebody who got trapped on that ride. Dead rats. Dead rats. On that, on that ride. On that small, ride, yeah. Small world ride. And literally. And the music kept playing because each area you go into it then continues the music, right? Yeah. So you're listening to part of a loop. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, part of a loop. I don't. What is that? Jag, jag off. Jag off. Jag off. What is that? I think it's beer. What is that, Bree? Is it beer? It's a, or, oh, it's hot sauce. No. Looks like hot sauce. Huh? Yeah, have, you guys, have you ever heard the term jag off? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, jack off. I've heard. Yeah, but of. anyway, anyway, let me. Where was I? What story uh, was I telling? You were oh. Amazon. Oh, uh, yeah. What about Amazon? No, no, no. It wasn't about the phone number. Still, it was uh, yeah. no. The uh, oh, somebody customer got trapped service. in a ride. Oh yeah, he got I'm trapped in. He got trapped in the ride, no, and and the music kept literally <laughs> in a loop, repeating. He said he was in that ride stuck for like two hours. Yeah. And somehow nobody was coming to get them either. You know. In fact, there was, it took so, it took so long right that these little kids who were sitting at a card table just started playing cards. You know. Uh, yes, uh, Patrick. Yeah, that, that happened to me as well. And it, was, it wasn't two hours. It was about 45 minutes. And uh, I, I've been to Disney World eight or nine times. Mm-hmm. Only went to It's a Small World maybe three of those times. And the last time was when I was stuck on that boat, and it was just, it, it, it was too much. I mean, fuck that ride. So. Yeah, no, that, that ride is the most horrible ride in Disneyland. I think without question. I, I can't think of a worse ride. Uh, it, it's creative. Hey, uh, Renata, are you trying to say something? <laughs> what? He's, he was uh, he was showing a sign that said no hunting. Oh, yeah, but he's showing us dead rats too. So you know. Yeah. Well, somebody was hunting, obviously. No. Yeah. Yeah. This my stupid thing. Skype's not working. Yeah, it's just, it? uh, just for Phil. Yeah. I'm just trying to just trying to show Phil. No. Well, guns. If I was wearing pants, yeah. I'd get up and get my NRA hat. <laughs> uh, how about the stuff that Amarosa is talking about? Oh, the N word. Yes. And uh, and uh, uh, calling uh, Kelly Ann Conway's uh, Filipino husband a poo poo head. I don't know some some derogatory name. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, a fucking goo goo. That's what. Oh. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. Oh God. Uh, but according to her, there is videotape of Trump using the N word. Uh, and yeah. what I saw, I saw the report tonight, and it was on NBC. And I went, "Didn't NBC run The Apprentice? Don't you have that footage somewhere at your availability that you can show to us?" But no, they were just they, they, were, those they, they were just complaining in the about White it. House. What? I thought Amarosa uh, recorded those things in the in the White House. No, no, you don't pay attention to the news. You just see headlines. Uh, no, no. I read a, no, a little no, bit. No, the goo goo, the goo goo thing she heard in the White House, but uh, she uh -huh. said she had heard that uh, that he was uh, very famous for having used the N word many times while doing The Apprentice. That gets people fired, like Rosie O'Donnell and other other people. But Trump said he could go and shoot somebody, and he'd still uh, continue on right. as president. And he's he correct. said that. Yeah, he, he did said say that. that. He did say no. that. Yeah, he, he said, I remember I, when he said that. Yeah, I think oh. he said they wouldn't arrest him or something if he shot somebody in the middle of Fifth Avenue. Yeah. Yeah, right. By the way, I have and something he's here. actually right. Let me, let me, let me uh, again, I'm going to have to go to my screen, although I'll remember now to go back to you guys. But I want to show this. I saw this today, and I shot it off my TV set, and I wanted you to see it. Um, that is a panel on MSNBC, and I was thinking... Gee, uh, where are the guys? There's no, not one guy there. It's like they're trying to be so politically correct, they can't even put a guy on there. I'm trying to 
show. Maybe oh, one of them yeah. was a guy at one time. Yeah, no, but I mean, you know, I mean, I, I look, I'm all, I'm all for women being on television, but come on, there's a hey, panel. Hey, if I was producing that show, I would have with those women that picture of the dead rat. From but Ray it, but they're fi like there were like five women on the show, and all uh, five people on the show, and all of them were women. On the panel, yeah. and they weren't talking about something that was specifically important for women. Here, let me uh, like menstruation or something like uh, that. Or fuck that. Me I mean, too. Just, you know, yeah. Hold on a second. My, my I do the. Head <coughs> are are you unzipping your fly? No, my underpants ride up on me. And <laughs> oh Jesus! That happens with age, and, and it makes my nutsack oh, hurt. So I have to do something about it. But uh, uh, but what do you what do you think about all this with Amorosa, uh, Phil? Uh, I know I, what he's going to say. Why am I asking? Every, you know that people do that kind of shit, and if he did it in front of her, he must have felt comfortable doing it. And maybe there was an atmosphere that that kind of conversation was acceptable. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. It was a pussy grabbing atmosphere. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that it, it was acceptable. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I, you I, ever I, joke I don't with see. Somebody? I don't see that those kinds of terms regarding racial people, things, stuff, well, is particularly it is particularly like correct. You know. Look. Look. Haven't you done it about Jews? I mean, I've made so I've made Jew jokes that uh, you know uh, would make Christians cringe. But, uh, you know... It, yeah, but you're a Jew. Just, you're a Jew. Well, she was black. Maybe there was uh, some conversation no, going there, on. No, he didn't use the N-word in her presence in the White House. That's not the story. Well, how did she get it on tape? Because there are tapes of it from The Apprentice, which she it's saw. Her tapes. Which she saw. No, they're not her tapes. Okay, who read the article? Not me. I did. All right. Okay. I don't read. I don't read shit like that. It was a right. waste of time. Yeah. Let me sure. read it. Read this to you, and then you can. All uh, right. Then you can. Uh, this, right. Okay. Um, former White a House staffer and good, a Ray, Can I talk? Can I talk, looking, please? But every time I look for dead animals, no. I find piles of shit like underneath yeah. toilet paper. It's disgusting. <laughs> Amarosa tells NPR she heard Trump N-word tape. Contradicting her own tell-all book. Go ahead, uh, Alex. No, forget it. I tried to talk, and every nobody would let me. So, forget. Oh it. well, uh, it's it's uh, a, uh, adult abuse or uh, age abuse. I think yeah. uh, elder abuse. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, we wouldn't let you. Mm -hmm. Pin his arms down. <laughs> anyway, no, so that's that. Um, anything yeah. else uh, anybody want to talk about? Uh, yeah, I want to talk about what's going on in Turkey, Iran, and Russia right now. With and uh, also, um, uh, was it uh, Argentina? I believe where they're uh, uh, Venezuela, where they're running over the borders. There's thousands of people going to Ecuador. Uh, then uh, the Iranian re uh, 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 real, I think. Is, uh, is in the dumper because of the sanctions that are being put on Russia, uh, Iran, and Turkey by the Trump administration. And it seems, and also Iran set off a uh, ballistic missile today, uh, a short range ballistic missile. So I guess they're getting, uh, Iran is certainly uh, starting to feel the, uh, the heat. Uh, of the sanctions. How am I supposed to believe this story, Phil, when it's coming from you who can't get the Omarosa story correct? Oh, well, the Omarosa story is bullshit. As as uh, uh, yeah, uh, no, uh, no. You know, anytime, just, anytime uh, you read a story, you, it, you always you always get it wrong. Hey, uh, do you see all these white pelicans? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Are any uh, of them dead? <laughs> no, oh, I think. <laughs> Some I, might be. Uh, there's got to be a dead one out there. Hey, All right, white pelican. You know, whatever. Alex, I don't know that it's. I get it wrong. It's just that I All see right, it dog. from a different perspective. No, you, you get it wrong. You 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 come up with a story and you say this is the story, and it turns out the story is something else completely. Well, okay. You, what you do it, is you read the headline and then you imprint upon that headline your own idea of what the story is. I read the story. 
you know, but it's hard to read on the, on on a laptop, you know, because you're scrolling, and all of a sudden you start seeing ads for uh, what was Mr. T's uh, uh, army record like. You know? You, you know, you know what I think the problem is here, is that we get little bits and pieces of the truth, not enough to put a whole picture together. Uh, Howard Zinn, who wrote the People's History of the United States, talked about that. That the mainstream news does tell the truth but they draw such a tight circle around it that you don't get the full picture. And I think uh, that's what the Amoroso story is. It, you know, they might have been joking and said the N-word. I don't know. You know, who? and then who do you believe? I mean, do you believe anybody these days, you know? Yeah. I believe Alex. I, anything that Alex Bennett says about his personal life, I believe. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, you're a trusted individual. Yeah. 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 Well, you too, <laughs> Phil. You know, one of the cool things is just getting to know Phil. He's a fantastic guy. So you how know, when he when he arrested us at uh, the Greenpeace <laughs> thing in the eighties. <laughs> Sorry, Alan. I'm just gonna toot Phil's horn a little bit. No, you know, when you meet people in person, it, everything is different. Everything is different. So anyway, Patrick, how have you been? <laughs> <laughs> Should I go now? <laughs> Thank you. I'll send the money. <laughs> hey, I got your buck right here, man. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, mute your uh, mute your uh, camera. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, um, John needed a password, and it being the age I am and the age John is, I we couldn't remember the password, and and so I borrowed a pen, but I didn't have a piece of paper, so I wrote it on a dollar bill and handed it to John. <laughs> he still got the buck. <laughs> oh, hey, we're getting a whole bunch of people now. Here we go. Anyway, Patrick, what's new with you? Anything? No, not really. Just enjoying the, the weather that we had today versus the shit weather yesterday. So, well, I, I keep praying for global warming, and it's still not happening. So, well, the way a girlfriend is with the air conditioning in this apartment, when winter comes, it will be no surprise. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, you're I, lucky you can get I, it that cool. I actually had to get out of the bedroom and and go lie down in the in the uh, guest room, where it was a little bit warmer. Uh, and even I, at that, my feet were still freezing. Yes. You know, but it's it's, it's so cold. It's, it's so but, hot in New York. Did Brian had his hand up? Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, Brian. Right. Brian? Maybe you didn't. Wait a minute. Brian? We can't hear you. You're Brian. muted, Brian. You're muted. There, there you go. Hey, Brian, you're missed dead shit. We had some dead rats on the show. That was one of the panel members. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Oh, there, there we go. I think that's Brian. Are you there, Brian? He can hear us. But yeah, but he's he, he doesn't have any can. audio. Yeah. And he's. Uh, it, I I think it, he's trying to work with it. Must oh. be an AKG mic. <laughs> well, hello, Kevin. Good evening. Oh, say he can hear me. Okay. I can hear you. Yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, I can yeah. hear you just fine. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. It's a very, very uh, de fun v fedora you have on there. Yeah, it's a good-looking one. Yeah. I always like that style. Uh, what do they call it, a uh, newsboy? Newsboy. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah kind of. Or a driving cap. Yeah, well, the English. Uh, yeah. Can't trust their news. <laughs> they, uh... New Space Army. Yeah, uh, is that the uniform? I don't know what are they call the. What are they going to call it? The, uh... Space Patrol. Space Patrol or whatever. Yeah. Space Force. Space, hey, used to be... No different from Reagan's Star Wars. He wanted Wasn't to it? have uh, X-ray no. weapons and uh, no, 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 no. hunter killer satellites. Pew 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 pew. No, this is yeah. not like Star Wars. The Star Wars thing was an entirely different initiative. Wasn't there some cartoon show that was like, like called Space Force or something? Uh, yeah. It, yeah, there is. No, well, no, Alex. They they want to have Donald hunter Trump. killer satellites and and things that can uh, disrupt communications from uh, foreign governments. That's part of the 
the yeah. spa, you know uh, space. Yeah, but this had, this had, Star Wars had to do with with uh, missiles being shot from space. Yeah, yeah. anti missiles. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But this, you know this, they've this grown is, up, this and is, now they're attacking us with other but, other but, stuff. But what this is going to be is is the weaponization of space, which I'm totally against. You know. Well, do you believe? the reports coming out of the Defense Department that both Russia and China have launched hypersonic missiles so that uh, can uh, travel much that, faster. That's fine, but we don't, need, we don't need a space force to do that. Yeah. You know? Why not? Wait a minute. Y yes, Brian, yeah, we can yeah. hear you. Uh, thank Christ. I switched, uh, switched phones. Yeah. But uh, just time out for a few, for a minute or so. Uh, but you were talking about how uh, cold your ass gets when you're sleeping with your girlfriend, yeah. and I was—I heard I was <laughs> Wait, on. What, what? for today and listening to last night's podcast of your of your show, mm. yours and Jack's show, and you, you were saying the same thing. And I'm thinking, oh, I, 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 I envy you. She and I would get along real well on account of the fact that me being the hot-blooded Irish, Polish motherfucker that I am, yeah, uh, I, I, I can't get enough air conditioning. I got that. Me, well, I'm listening to you bitch about it while I have the air conditioning in my car cranked full blast. I, I, yeah, I go in there and it's like an, an ice box, and she, she won't, you know, she won't listen to me when it when it comes to uh, the argument about how you use an air conditioner. And I heard that too. And I, and you know, what you were saying about how the, the city doesn't want you what the city doesn't want you. Uh, 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 jacking up the AC on your on your unit in your room. Well, you know what? Fuck the well, city. Well, no, 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 it's, no, no. But I that's want, not the point. I want to be the cold. point is that I now, I have not been able. Let me finish, Phil. I've not okay, been able put to put the hand I, up. I, that's I, 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 well, what do I? I'm talking. It doesn't matter whether your hand is up or not. Uh -huh. oh, 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 okay. So I'll put the hand down, and then I'll recognize <laughs> you after I'm finished with my thought, which I've now Howard, forgotten. So go ahead, Phil. All right. Since what this you had like to say, since voice. what you had to say was so fucking important. Go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to know what temperature, uh, you know, since it's so hot in Dubai, what temperature they keep, the, you know, normally keep uh, homes and restaurants and so forth in Dubai because of the need for air conditioning. Uh, I mean, it varies, you know. But there's also a time. There's also got to be a time of the year. Uh, turn, uh, get, uh, mute, would you, Ray? Mute. What? Oh, shit. You know what? Thanks. There we go. That's fine, Ray. That's good, good. good. Uh, 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 do you have air conditioning on all year long where you are in Dubai? No. No. So it, it, it's it, there. There are times when you don't need air conditioning. You know, Absolutely the thing not. With, the thing yeah, is, I mean, the thing is driving people me, always. Yeah. People always get this wrong, but Dubai from. Pretty much November, December, January, February mm -hmm. is absolutely perfect weather every single day. Mm -hmm. It's 72 degrees That's and no humidity and beautiful. For like four months, it's amazing. It's the best weather anywhere. I, I was what watching. What about dust storms? Not during those months, no. You know, I was impressed with, uh, I was watching a TV show about real estate in Dubai, and uh, the people that were on it were outside at a cafe, and they were dressed in uh, suits and ties, and they didn't look like they were even uh, aspiring a bit, you know, it, it must have been that time of the year. Yeah, it's it's a wonderful time, and one of the things that I wish they had more, I mean, they're trying to... They need more bike paths and walking paths. Uh, the marina is really nice, but like in the in the winter months, I can literally walk or ride my bike anywhere in the in the city, uh, and it's just amazing because it's all flat. There's really no hills. Mm. Hmm. Uh, now, do they have in uh, Dubai? Uh, do these guys all have those mega yachts? Like in in Monaco, you look at the marina. And you see these 700-foot yachts and, and, and just a, the most opulent uh, show of wealth. Is it similar in Dubai? Yeah. Yeah, they have that. Okay. Um, they're building a, the marina now. Opulence. It's funny. Um, it, it, they've determined it's too small. So they're building like a mega marina okay. now. Getting um, back to air conditioning. <laughs> 
Terrier. Yeah. yeah. Syracuse. Uh, it, it, the, the point that I try to make to her is that when she puts the thing on like 68, that that doesn't make it any colder than if you put it on 75 and it's still going because the room is not uh, down to 75 degrees. That, that really what you do is you put it at some place like 76 where you feel, hey, I can, I, if it's 76, it's, it's pretty comfortable in here, okay? And then the thing will turn itself on and off, on and off, depending upon whether you need more air or not. That's where you get the energy saving. That's where you pay less money for electricity and so on. But she doesn't understand that, and she doesn't like the fact that when she's asleep, it's turning itself on and off, on and off. I don't on think and you're off. right. She oh, can I'm, abs- I'm absolutely right. right. What? Well, right. Wait, yeah, it is. Who's I, I think <laughs> each each oh, cool. cycle, each cycle brings the temperature down a little bit more. But there's only so many so many degrees difference between the outside and the inside that you can do with an air conditioner. So let's say it's 100 degrees outside, you might not be able to get it any cooler than 80 uh, inside uh, because of the um, uh, you know what, what you're do you dealing mean? with. I've got it way cooler than that sometimes in the bedroom. Way when, cooler when it's 100 outside. Yes. Uh, so, so and now, if it's on all day, it was explained to me by the HVAC guy that sold me the new unit for the store mm-hmm. that uh, each cycle uh, brings down the temperature. Uh, so by having it at the lower temperature, it'll continue to cycle and, and bring down the temperature. It, it, it will continue, but it, it, the fact is that you're never going to reach, like if you put 68 degrees, you're never going to reach 68 degrees in that room. Not mm. on a hot day. But if you turn it at 76, it turns itself on and off, on and off, supplying you with enough heat, enough cool to make it 76 degrees in the room. Do you get what I'm saying? In other words, uh, you know, she doesn't understand how an air conditioner works. She may as well just put that thing on non-energy saving and put it at 68, and I'm going to be using the same amount of energy that we're using by her having it at 68 in the energy saving mode as long as that thing is going it's costing you money and it's using up electricity well you're a big time uh, radio guy you got to go to the energy saving mode why can't you just go to cold she's got she's got a nice job and she can afford it so you know good mark no but we share the electric bill okay yeah so I, I, i think it's because yeah i think it's because alex hasn't been a big time radio money in a while by the way hired steve yeah we know yeah alex when is your radio thing what the 26th i think yeah i dread it what's going on 26th okay yeah. i think i'll be in flight Oh, What's going on on the 26th? Uh, I'm doing a, a national radio show. I'm hosting for a friend of mine for the night. Oh, good. Is yeah. it a temporary thing or is it permanent? Oh, it's temporary. It's one night. Oh. That's it. You know. And uh, what, what, what station? Uh, a whole bunch of stations. Of them, Fifty think. of them, I think. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, do you need it live streamed? What? <laughs> What? Uh, yeah, he do, can do, live stream it. Yeah, if you, we could yeah. live stream it. Uh, uh, Am I going to hear it on Sirius or no? This is on. This show is owned by Premier. They don't need your live stream. You know, they're on all. Yeah, I didn't know that. You, I didn't know that your show is owned by Premier. No, no. <laughs> Listen <laughs> no. closely, Steve. No, the one that he's going to be on. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. And it's going to be on like, oh. uh, but I, would say, I think he's on 50 stations now. There's one in the San Francisco Bay Area for those of you who are calling from the Bay Area tonight. Uh, now, what's his show about? It's about two hours. No, no. What, what's the topic? <laughs> <laughs> there is no, it's not political. It's uh, lifestyle. So, yeah. you know, I, I'm just not looking forward to it. I really, I dread it actually, to be honest with you. Uh, I haven't done it in years, in about five years now, and uh, I, you know, he does a certain kind of show that's not the kind of show I do, yeah. and I don't feel that I should go on his show and do my show. You know, I should try and at least maintain what he does. You don't, you don't come in and uh, and rearrange the furniture, so to speak. 
Yeah, but he he wouldn't have invited you unless he knew that you have a radio personality that you, that's well, no, been that's, consistent that's, for that's many not, many that, years. That's not what I'm talking about, John. I'm talking about the way the show is done. You no. just want to hijack. Yeah, do you? I think you you know you I think you you follow the interaction of the people, you know. So do people call his show, or I, you just... I, I guess. I haven't listened to it that much. i got to listen to it this yeah. week and get yeah. an idea about it. Um, but what I've heard is, is pretty much, you know, lifestyle, and um, it's, not, uh, it's not political. It never gets political. <laughs> Maybe right. he's syndicated on 50 stations because he talks about makeup tips. No. <laughs> no I think it's less cancellation. Need to change shipping speed. Sorry, I'm doing the Amazon thing. Oh, oh, you're trying to cancel your uh, your order? Yeah, they have a thing on there where you can say request cancellation. It says why, and then I say need to change shipping speed. Either that, yeah. or you can just. I always put down uh, m ordered by mistake. That covers everything, you know. Yeah, well, yeah, I, that's the one I canceled. I used ordered by mistake because uh, I ordered Newman's own. Uh, ginger um, uh, uh, tablets or something. You know, where you, you put them in your mouth and you suck on them. They're, they're really good. They're like Altoids, but they're made out of ginger. And I pushed the uh, hot uh, cinnamon one by mistake. So I canceled the hot cinnamon and got the ginger. <laughs> what is a lively show tonight? Oh, Amazon is saying. <laughs> yeah? What? Yeah, you don't want to unable to cancel the items. Why? They what? will soon be shipped. Oh. oh, you have to do it within a certain amount of time. Usually it's yeah, 30 minutes. It's, Usually you have 30 minutes. You may minutes. refuse delivery or return them after they you, arrive. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, no, I mean, I'll accept them. But the thing is, is that I ordered it three days ago. Oh. There's still no activity. You know, they haven't well, even shipped here, it. Here's some, Meanwhile, here. I ordered something yesterday, and it's coming tomorrow. So... It, it's probably not a, a prime yeah, it, shipper. It, it, it's probably it a third is. party. No, it's probably. Oh, it I is. checked on it. I could yeah. get prime and get it on Sunday, so that's why I tried to cancel it. And they're like, "No, you can't do that." So that's strange. There's, some they, of them. They've done something. When, I, when they gave me the prime, yeah. they let me go in and I could change it. So it's they've like done, updated they've done it to prime, and then I did. I can't even talk. To like smaller that. items, but the big item, they're like, "No, we we can't do it." So yeah. yeah, Alex had his hand up. No, forget it. Forget it. I'm I'm giving up tonight. I just, you know. Uh, hey, yeah, go ahead, yeah. Phil. Take over the show. No, I I, for, I forgot the uh, <laughs> I, 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 you know I, I forgot the thing, but uh, yeah, it was it was something to do with uh, ordering something. What I wanted I to say about Amazon is that they have changed the way in which they send. In other words, the speed. They used to say two-day shipping, and they still kind of say two-day shipping, but it's not really two-day shipping. Like if you order it on Friday, you used to get it on a Sunday. Now if you order it on a Friday, you won't get it till Tuesday. You get me? So that really it's five-day shipping. It's not two-day shipping. It must be business days now. Uh, yeah, and it, it also, if I order something on Tuesday, I may not get it till Friday. You know, it, they it, also they they they've spread it out. You of course can do one-day shipping in a lot of towns. You can ask for it to be delivered the same day. A couple of hours. Yeah, but it depends on the item and depends on where it's being shipped from. But yeah. um, but did Amazon, they raise your? Did mm -hmm. they raise your prime to 130 bucks? It's raised to uh, they raised it uh, only by 10 bucks, Phil. No, mine went up 30 bucks. Well, it was only supposed to go up 10, so you better get a hold of them. Yes, uh, Bree. Well, when I was passing through Paris, um, I was at the Louvre Metro station, and they oh. have an Amazon pickup <clears throat> stop there. And I was like, oh, I should have just ordered it there. I probably would have gotten it already. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it, 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 Amazon's kind of changed their rules a bit. I think they've had to do it in order to have a less expensive way of shipping all this stuff. You know, so that if, it, if they take their two days, but they can squeeze it out to three, and if they can get you to take the, the post <coughs> office instead of uh, not the post office, which is what I have, they'd, they'd rather do that, you know, uh, you know. You seem like you had something you wanted to say, Kevin. Yeah, well, the shipping rates have gone up a lot. 
and I've heard recently that they're uh, they're also they got a big push, at least in this area. They're they just put out a big uh, a push for people to to join their logistics team. They're try- they got a big push for logistics people out here. You mean oh, yeah. delivery? So I, I think they're gonna they're hiring a bunch of logistics people and they're gonna put their own logistics people on and delivery people and yeah I think they got yeah Amazon, at home to yeah to uh, Amazon start doing their Amazon's gonna start doing their own delivery as well yeah yeah they already are which, which is probably a good idea because they've got every Tom Dick and Harry going in there and and picking up shit and throwing them in the back of their cars and and delivering well stuff. I used to go apoplectic because they shipped everything by by the post office if they could okay Mm -hmm. and the post office here is really shitty you know i get yeah they do that and they also have you know just freelancers going in there and picking up packages and and throwing them in the back of their cars because i've had everybody yeah pull up to my house and whoever's you know guy in it well anyway i I, kids in the back of the car and they're throwing shit on the porch and taking off i said to amazon i was sick of getting stuff by the post office because they were always fucking me over you know yeah uh and yeah. and they said well okay we'll put you down so that we say no you no you usps so now yeah. it all comes by ups most of the time some will occasionally fedex but mostly uh U- ups and and that's no problem they come they deliver it right to the door i've never had a uh, had a problem with them but man did i get apoplectic with that fucking post office jesus <clears throat> I've always had a problem with UPS and damage. Really? Yeah, yeah. I, there, there was a nickname that a friend of mine one time came up with for UPS because they screw things up sometimes quite a bit. The, um, the, she used to call it uh, UPS. It's, it's, it's sent for oops. Well, that's they, what, they that's have such a for years. Yeah. <laughs> they have such a volume of packages. You know, you, you yeah. got to figure that's that some things are going to get broken. Yeah. You know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, that, I, yeah. I, I understand things like that, but I don't understand that. Like, I waited all day for a package because I don't want to miss it. And they then I get a note downstairs saying, We tried to get to you, but you weren't home. Yeah. That, oh, that's that's crap. You know? Yeah. Uh, what is that uh, you're holding up there, Bree? That's the, that's the item I ordered. Yeah. It's a reader. Yeah. It's a 13.3 inch e ink screen. Oh wow! How do you carry all this shit that you own? Yeah, <laughs> you know, the thing, the is that eight hundred bucks. This, yeah, I got I don't know if any of you guys, if this is true for you, but like, for me, I constantly have to look at computer screen. I mean, I guess I don't have to, but if I want to do my job, I, I have to look at computer screens a lot. And I'm getting to the point where I just can't look at them anymore. I mean, Alex, you've got a bunch of stuff there. I don't know how you do it. I, I guess if you're doing it two hours a day, but like I'm in the office, and I and I got my iPad and my cell phone and my two my Mac and my two PCs, and sometimes my eyes just bug out. So like I got oh my this, god, I could yeah, that must be horrible. Yeah. Oh my. God. Yeah. So I got the e ink, so that you know when those in those moments when I can no longer look at the screen. I can switch over to the e-ink, and I can keep reading or writing or working. Is the e-ink what they've been using all along for Amazon? Uh, uh, because they, You mean that reader, uh, whatever e- that e- yeah. Amazon reader? The Amazon reader kind of... It, oh, it, sure. it, it didn't use LCDs. It, uh, the Kindle. The Kindle, yeah, the Kindle. Yeah. Was that e was, ink? Was the Kindle was Amazon. It wasn't... Uh, uh, what, oh, what was the name Am- of that bookstore? Am- it was Amazon. No, it's oh. Kindle is Amazon. I still use mine yeah. all the time. You're thinking of Nook, Barnes and Noble, Nook, that's or it. the Barnes Kobo, and Noble Nook, which is yeah. Borders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Oh, Borders had one too. Yeah, hey, they had one called Kobo, know? which is actually. Hey, yes. I got to tell you something. The same guy who invented the one for Barnes and Noble is yeah. the same guy who invented the Tesla. His name's Martin Eberhard. Wow. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. Is, yeah. Is there? Is there still is such a thing? It, it, I don't is think there so. Still, no, is there, is there still such thing as borders? Because here they're not. No, yeah, well, we have borders they, in Dubai. They, but they don't. Oh, wow. they, they don't exist here any longer. Yeah, you have in Dubai and up in Alaska. They have uh, one blockbuster left, and I think it's closing. By the wow. way, wow. 
Oh yeah, God. here there's some Barnes and Noble. The one in Walnut Creek closed, but the one in uh, San Mateo is still open. Yeah, well, Barnes and Noble's still Yeah, we have some Barnes concerned. and Noble. Yeah. But I Bar- love Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble's yeah. actually switched over to a internet model in which you buy yeah. all your books through the internet. I used to just go there, sit down, have coffee, read. Uh, oh, yeah. Know, look yeah. at the magazines. Yeah. The question yeah. is, yeah. the question is, what's going to happen to uh, the, uh, the the malls. The malls are all going to be... Uh, they're the losing the a lot of tenants. Huh? Lower flight. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm near one right now. I went through one, and the places that are gone, the vacancy, you know, yeah. in this area, too, but it's the yeah. They're going to be yeah. Amazon distribution pa- pa- centers. Patrick? Yeah. Patrick has his hand up. Yeah, one of the things they're doing in the Milwaukee area. They've been doing it for about maybe about five five or so years. Are they're I, I think they're called like outdoor malls where it's no longer a uh, standalone building everything inside. Uh, they don't need anchor stores but it's like um, a main store sort of uh, idea where there's 15 or 20 stores of a reasonable size that are specialty stores and, and so it's just like a mall but you go outside and there's, there's entrances to each individual uh, uh, place rather so, than in so it's, all- it's more yeah. like a, well, well, a downtown well, no, we, uh, we, we have those here in uh, out in Queens for instance when I go with Shecky we go to a place and every place has a front door you know it's not really a yeah. mall it's more like a, I don't know what you would call it exactly Brookstone closed they're, they're closing I don't know how many thousands of outlets yeah. uh, do you remember Bombay Company no. I, I don't think anybody ever think, bought something there Crocs is going out too yeah. who I've heard I've heard Gosh. of it I don't yeah we, we have the Northgate Mall here in San Rafael, and uh, yeah, Sears right. just left. And uh, they're thinking of uh, retaining some of the mall, tearing down some of it, and building multi-story housing. So that's uh, on the drawing board here in San Rafael. And the Northgate Mall was a huge mall. Yeah, yeah. Macy's, well, it, it, well, yeah. well for Marin street. County. Marin yeah. County wasn't known for its malls. Yeah. That's right. Uh, yes, pa- Patrick. Yeah, that was the other thing, and I, I had forgot. Um, we're all, <clears throat> at the mall, they are also doing um, limited condo or high-end apartment so that, you know, everything contained. So if you've got, you know, let's say a six-story uh, condo building that holds, let's say, 80 units or, or you know, whatever, the people live there, and then everything that they need there is a shop, and it's all contained there, but it's not a, an inside thing. It's an outdoor experience, which I think is ridiculous considering it's Wisconsin and it snows half the fucking year, but whatever. Yeah. yeah uh, what what, 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 like what I'm thinking, it, what I'm thinking is you should, you should take one of these malls and just went, empty it out, empty all the people out and everything, and open up the world's longest bowling alley. <laughs> where, is the, where is the Great Mall of America? That uh, that uh, it's in uh, it's in Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Yeah, it's at Minneapolis. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. that one yeah. experiencing anything? You know, I don't know. I don't live there, Bree. Uh, I don't know. You <laughs> used to. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let, second, wait, let's see. Second. Look, Bree is trying to talk. Go ahead, yeah, Bree. Fine. There's a guy on YouTube that uh, goes through these old malls and like has made documentaries on this, I guess, and even around here. I go to some of the malls and they're just shells of their former selves. And I, and when I'm in Dubai, the, the malls are so vibrant and so much activity. And I just sit there and I think, I wonder, you know, if in 20 years, if these malls will be the same as, you know, as what's happening in the, in the States as well. Well, well uh, question, does the uh, Dubai uh, uh, government censor the internet there? Because uh, internet commerce is tr- been re- uh, largely responsible for uh, the decline of the malls. No, Souk. We have something called Souk.com, which was recently purchased by Amazon, and it's so it's becoming oh, Amazon-like. Uh, okay. In fact, Amazon. When I'm back in Dubai and I show my video, 
their building is right next to my apartment. And, but uh, another thing, when I was in Malaysia, the place where I interviewed, uh, it's very interesting. It's The whole town is owned by one guy, and it was built on a former tin mine, I think, or something. Everything is is within that town. Like, there's a free shuttle that goes around. There are covered walkways. There's mm. a resort. There's a mall. There's Everything is, is kind of like that. And I think that might be the future, like, where... It's kind of like a big gated community to a certain extent. They have their own security force. And I think, you know, that some places at least are moving towards this. Well, my question uh, is, my question is, what is going to happen? You know, there's a certain socialization that happened as the result of a mall. Kids would go down on a Friday night to the mall to hang out with the other kids. Once the mall is gone, what's going to happen to that socialization? I mean, is it is it going to become more and more distant? Are they just going to do it online? You know, things like that. To online, the point where they, maybe, I don't know, maybe like maybe parks or, you know. No, what I'm saying is I think that, yeah, you're holding up your phone and you're right, yeah. Bree. But what I'm saying is this is the desocialization of, 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 of American culture or of, of just any culture yes uh, uh patrick and by the way patrick did you do something to your audio like i asked you to do because you're coming through loud and clear tonight without any pumping up and down and all of that hey no in fact i, I went in there and it was already uh off the automatic uh, <clears throat> so i i don't know i i didn't do anything you're loud and clear tonight <laughs> You know, yeah. yeah, Patrick. Yeah, you sound good. You sound clear. Good. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, Patrick, you had your hand up. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the onset of video games in the home, mm -hmm. and I know I sound like I'm fucking in ninety years old, but I yeah, think yeah. video <laughs> games in the home versus <laughs> when I was a kid, we used to go to the arcade, and you know maybe somebody had an Atari, but the arcade is where the good games were. And in the last 20 years or so, I mean, even when I was with my ex, with her kids, they never really had any friends that came over that did anything other than they would play video games. Nobody went outside. The kids nowadays don't play outside. They're, we set up play dates with kids. And what are the play dates? They play fucking video games. I mean, and Bree's right. With the cell phone, it's going to be texting each other. It's going to be uh, this type of thing. Skype. Patrick, if they go outside, they get abducted. Look at that gal in Iowa. You know, she went for a run. <laughs> Nobody saw her again. Hey, hey, now there's a thing for the malls. They could turn them into giant paintball amusement parks, you know, where you suit up and you shoot people with paintballs. They yeah, already I, are, uh, but they're, they're using like, real guns. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll tell you one thing that really, I think that really messes up the malls is when they build these big, you know, 12, 16, 20, whatever screen movie theaters. Um, you know, and the, 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 there's one thing I do like about them, and Alex, because I know you really like the old theaters and the movies, so do I. Uh, one thing I do I never like, liked, I never liked, where, 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 whatever gave you the idea, I like the old movie theaters. I don't know, I thought I thought you did. Maybe no, not. no, no, I mean, it, it still had people kicking you in the back of the seat. And, you know, oh, like yeah, yeah, no, that, that's... He likes right, the ones right, with right, the no. reclining chairs. Right, the one the one thing I like about the newer, even though it messes up a mall and it's really busy and it's crowded, um, the, the design, you know, you, you have a center row, you have two side rows, as many um, auditoriums or cinemas as they have, they kind of make them like theaters were when, they're, when they were single auditoriums. And I really do like that. And the seats, yeah. Nobody's kicking each other in the head. They're pretty clean. I do like that. Well, most of the theaters now, I don't know what ones you're going to, but most of the theaters now have the reclining seats and everything. Oh, yeah. They're great. Yeah. yeah. Since I bought a large TV and started using Netflix and all of those things, I, I haven't walked into a theater. The only, yeah. the only time you yeah. need to go to a theater is when you're going to go see something, uh, when you're going to see a popular film. 
No, when you're going to go see yeah, a Yeah, I, I saw the Star Wars. Uh, no, but I mean, when you're going to go see a film that, uh, that you know, you kind of want that group energy of watching it. Yep. yep. Yeah. Kevin, you yeah. look like you want to say something, but you're not saying something. <laughs> Kevin? Nope, nope, I wouldn't say nothing. Oh, I, because you were kind of nodding, and I figured, eh, maybe you had something to add to that. No, uh, just agreeing. But, uh, you know, I mean, I, I agree with Phil. I mean, pretty much most films that you want to go see yeah. today yeah. are going to be available either on cable or uh, for sale within three months. So why yep. go see them yep. today? Why go p rush to, you know, you go to a movie. I t I've talked about this before. We go to the, uh, the, the uh, Comfy Chair Theater, and for two seniors, and it's a 3D movie, it's 42 bucks. And then, yeah. then it's another 25 bucks with uh, the total cab fare both ways. And then you add Holy another 15 God. for popcorn. You've spent 80 bucks to go to a movie. It better be fucking good. It's cheaper to go to that's a ball a, game. Yes, John. That's a lot uh, of fucking money. John. You know, one, one thing uh, I've noted uh, in the past four or five years since I've been live streaming MMA, and you've seen this, Phil, because Phil's been on two of them with me now, the, uh, the auditoriums are packed with people watching this. And there's another thing that I went to in Oakland, uh, I think once a month on Fridays, is Hood Slam. It's like big time wrestling, you know, it, it's people dress up in costumes and those things are so packed. There's no sitting. Yeah, room. but you, you're, you're totally in standing. all in all deference to you, you're actually promoting people beating the crap out of each other. <laughs> not not for, for, for I mean, slam, it's, it's not at least at least in movies. I know those people aren't getting hurt in the movies, you know. <laughs> Well, I, I just want to say, wait, wait a minute, let Ray say something. I just want to say that, John, I think I said this before, but you do a great job. I mean, you're up there with the UFC in terms of quality, I think. Oh, thank you. you know? Thank you. Yeah. And I, I wish people were. But then I see there's only you know, like five, six, seven wa people who watch the damn things. Oh, no. We have a pretty big uh, audience. So we, they're, they're in Brazil, uh, all over the uh, world. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, oh you mean oh, when it's yeah. live? Oh, yeah. Live. What, what, yeah, okay. On the, okay. I'm talking about the YouTube Okay. Somebody's got a satellite pa pa phone. Patrick's got his hand yeah. up, but also, just for a second, what Sorry. is that you've got there, Bree? Fuck. This is a walkie-talkie. Real? Oh, really? Four channels. Oh, are you the only guy on it? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yes, Patrick. I was thinking of making an app that's like CB, where you just about, go oh, on about, and everybody oh, can Wait talk. a minute, wait a minute. You're, you're, forget about it. The next iPhone um, iteration coming out in about a month it's going to have a walkie-talkie feature is that the next tell iphone no it's the rig it's the apple phone iphone That's and you click it and i can and, and i can but i don't want to i can do that and just TV click it and talk to my girlfriend and talk to role. talk to marjorie marjorie can talk back it's an open line it's going to be a walkie-talkie feature on the iphone coming next month to an iPhone near you. Yes, but Patrick. They used to have that. Pat, Pat, yeah, next time. Oh, that's really cool. That's Pat, good. Okay, Patrick had his hand up. Um, I, yeah, I, I would... Back, you know. I think the only thing that you can get uh, anybody in the season packed uh, on a regular basis are live events, like baseball games, football or MMA, something like that, because or, or a concert... Because that, that's a shared experience even more so than a movie. And I think, like you said, with the movie, when they're available three months later, I mean, I would rather spend the $20 and pick up the Blu-ray than spend the $20, go to the fucking theater. I can't sit in a comfy seat anyway. So I'm sitting on, a, on an aisle seat and jagging around with people. I'd just rather wait a couple of months. Um, well, you know, I mean, like I've got a I've got a 65 inch uh, 4K television set here, and the f when you go to see a movie at the theaters now, they're projected uh, electronically. They're not projected with film any longer, and what you're watching is 4K. So why don't I just watch it at home? What do I need to go to a movie exactly. theater for? Yeah, yeah, you take yeah, the, all it, the aggravation. 
Yeah. It's not like I'm interacting with other human beings when I go to the movie theater. And the, and the expense. Hey, well, that's maybe why Quentin Tarantino still shoots in film. You well, know, I think yep. the last three films he, 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 he did was in 75 millimeter. No, no, no so you're wrong. You're wrong. They, just the, just they the, have to get the projector. The, the last film he did in 70 millimeter, and they projected it in some theaters, just a handful of theaters around the That's country. That's correct. The rest were right. being projected by video just like anybody else. Uh, uh, he shoots on film, but then it's converted to, to yeah. digital, and then it's shown in the theaters. Yeah. But uh, Harvey Weinstein was nice enough to go out and round up all the 70 millimeter projectors that were still around, and then they had to find somebody in each of the markets where the film was being shown who knew how to operate a 70 millimeter projector. Okay, and uh, that was another problem. They or you're also dealing with the projectionist unions and so on. But I went and saw right. it in 70 That's millimeter, and it was nice to see it in 70 millimeter. But you know, eventually, I'm going to be watching it on my screen at home, and it's going to be digital. So, really, it was just a stunt more than it was anything else at this point. But film does have a quality to it that shooting oh, yeah. digitally does not have. There's no That's question right. about it. Uh, you know. uh, can I say Matt? something? Yeah, sure. So Sure. Yeah, uh, for, for years, my father worked for Sony uh, after he worked for Ampex, and he used to sell this extremely expensive piece of equipment from Sony to the, to the studios in L.A., and it would take the film, put it, it would digitize it, and then they would take out all the mistakes, you know, the wires and stuff that were in the way, and, all, and then they would put it back on film um, from this. Yeah, I don't. Know, it cost like a half million bucks, I think. Yeah, I mean, and then, it, and, the, and then they distribute it on the. With film now now the they're ju now for the most part they're just shooting digitally and that's it. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. No. What you're watching really is a television picture that's been uh, shot at 24 frames per second, so it looks like film. Uh, and uh, you know, I mean, again, uh, I saw the Quentin Tarantino. Uh, what was the the western he did? Hateful Eight. Hateful Eight in, in 70 millimeter. I saw it out of 70 millimeter theater for it. And uh, it looked gorgeous. It was wonderful to see. But, yeah. you know, uh, so what? I mean, it was basically, it was, uh, they, he used the old one camera Cinerama process that they had come out with, which was Super Panavision, basically. Uh, and that's what he shot it in. And it looked gorgeous, looked terrific. Uh, and it was nice to see film, but you know, I, I, you can shoot digitally and make it look really good too. So I'm, I, you know, I, I think it's the content of what the film's about and whether it's any good and whether it's interesting to watch that matters yeah. and not how it's shot. A bit, it's a technical question. Um, does, Unless it does, is the narration. What, what were you going to say, what, Steve? I was going to say that does digital, if you do digital and convert it to actual film, does that help it a little bit? No. Why would you do no. that? Why would you do that in this it's day and age? Way way you're going to do it the other way I around. Don't you know. might, you yeah, might shoot it on film and then you make a dig you digitize it. But you right. know, there, is, right. there isn't a theater in America that, unless it's a, a special theater that isn't just showing nothing but uh, digital video as the main thing that's going on the screen. Right. Uh, right. And it's funny yeah, because a few saying, years ago yeah. when they first started going digital, nobody wanted to spend, make to have the expense of going to it. Now everybody does nothing but that. You can't, you can't, yeah. you know, <laughs> and the trouble is there's nobody up in the booth knowing what's going on. I've gone to 3D movies where it wasn't in 3D. I've gone to 3D movies where there was no light on the screen. Uh, you know, uh, if you complain about and it, I know they, how much you love doing it. Uh, and, and, yeah, I complain about it, and I have to. It's like I'm an idiot. You know, like what? What's your problem? What? You don't like the fact that it's not in 3D? I said I paid four dollars more for 3D. I I think I should get 3D. You morons! You know. Yeah, but, and I know I know how much you always like it. And but the, the, the problem, you know, the, the, the problem yeah. is that they they don't have anybody up in the projection booth who knows what's going on. So, because, uh, it, you know, <laughs> it's all being automatically done. Anyway. anyway. Yeah. Well, when I went, I went and saw Black Panther, they, uh, 
they left the 3D lens on the 2D movie and it was too dark. And I, and I went and complained. And the place was full. I, you couldn't even see anything. Well, and I was the only one who complained. Here's, drove the, me crazy. here's the funny part. about I saw something where they wasn't in 3D at all, even though it was supposed to be a 3D showing. Everybody in the theater had their glasses on and thought they were seeing 3D. But they weren't. <laughs> And I had to go down no. and complain about it. And they said, there's nothing we can do about it. So I said, uh, here, they said, you want your money back? I said, damn rights, I want my money back. You know. Hey, did you uh, talk about a Better Call Saul yet? Yeah, like I got two minutes, uh, one minute left of the show. I'm going to talk about Better Call Saul. No, I was just wondering if you have done it yet. <laughs> no, I hadn't talked about Save it. Save it for next week. Yeah, I, f I felt it was, it was kind of boring, actually. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's about it for tonight. Boy, uh, we kind of ended in, on a good note, uh, got into some good uh, discussion. Uh, I want to thank Phil for being here, as always. When's your operation, Phil? Uh, the 16th. Of this month? Yeah, good, yeah, good luck. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm. Uh, that's, that's next week. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm I'm keeping a good thought out for you, and I hope everybody thank else you. will too. I appreciate it. Ray Renati, yeah. thank you, thank you, Patrick, you thank you, Kevin, thank you, John. Always good to see you, John. Even though you like showing people getting the crap beaten out of them, <laughs> uh, 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 Brian, <laughs> thank you, thank you, and of course uh, to Steve, thank you for calling. Uh, why don't all of you wave a goodbye to everybody so that they can see you disappear into the ether there we go that's our citizen panel for tonight um let me end the calls here and let me turn off uh, uh the skype so the next show can use it uh i'm gonna take a couple of days off thank god i need it uh and then we'll be back again on uh, on tuesday uh, right after uh, uh damian chaplin uh, stay tuned for The Intersection with Jack Bishop. That's followed closely at 1 o'clock in the morning by Connections. I will see you, as I said, on the affirmation next Tuesday at 10 Eastern Daylight Time. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye.